Oh, hey there. How you doing? Yeah, this isn't out. Okay, can you guys cut that out? I'm trying to I'm trying to introduce a video here. Guys, welcome back. Welcome back to our Omega Mother Survival. Uh, what are we doing out here? You might be wondering as a creepy turtle roams over the rug behind me. Hey, you remember a couple days ago when we were taming up some Lystrosauruses? We were, we were... Wait a second. Are you mine? Do you believe... Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. That damage was dealt by... Did I summon something? Hold on a second. I guess I... Wait, what? Hold on. What are you... Okay, hold on. I don't even know what this is. I don't even know what this is. Um. Okay, I guess this is the ability of my... Hey, dude, go and attack something. Show me what you can do, loot Gigantosaurus. Okay, that's not ideal, but... But sure thing. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. What a weird way to start this out. T guys, today's going to be an incredible episode. Today's going to be a fantastic one. I mean it when I say it, and I say it when I mean it. Uh, but before we get into what we're actually going to be doing today, remember, like I said, how we were taming up some Listros out here the other day. We got ambushed by some raptors. We died. We tamed one. Everything kind of went wrong. Um, and we eventually lost the Listros. Turns out we didn't lose the Listro. Well, we lost them. We just didn't lose their lives <laughs> this whole time. I've had an explosive Listrosaurus just carry casually just casually chilling out here on his own poor little guy he must be so spooked come with me little guy come with me we, we gotta go and rescue him we gotta bring him home oh my gosh what a relief what a welcome surprise i was not expecting this at all i was just taking my random dialo out to i don't know see what he can do and i didn't actually know what his ability was uh it turns out he can summon in random dinosaurs that is why he's called a random lystrosaurus but guys before we get too far into today's video if you do enjoy the video please go ahead punch that thumbs up make it rain those thumbs ups now let's get these two fellas all oh, the way back home and get into the nitty gritty details of what we're getting up to today all right <laughs> look at this crocodile just casually like crushing my fence all right come in my two friends come in here okay a little bit of a lag spike on entry but we all good um as you can see i've kind of done a little bit more rearranging around the base i'm just trying to get my dinosaurs in a nice old like organized fashion and part of that involves having my i don't know i've kind of got my parasols over there dropping their eggs i got my little listros over here for some reason um um, but we kind of got ourselves like a little bit of a an egg farming type of setup. Speaking of egg farming, guess who laid us an egg since last episode? Our knockback Listro that we tamed up last episode. We tamed this guy up for the pure purpose of giving us an egg so we can then go and tame a dodo down there on the beach who I think he's still there. Maybe not. Ultimate spiritual. Hold on, we got a boogeyman. We got a boogeyman nearby and it's not our own. Um, I'm a little sad to see though that the alpha dodo that I originally tamed up everything for. Who's, who's the boogeyman? All right, there's something in the water. It's a megalodon. Of course it is. Um, but there was a dodo on the beach that I had planned to tame up. I don't know where it's gone. Has it died? Possibly. Did it wake up? Probably more probable. That's really sad, though, because I wanted to tame that up. No, but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. We'll go find. Hello, little guy. Hey. Oh, okay. What actually just exploded? What actually? Okay, that's kind of bizarre. Um, hello, clone of dialect. I'm trying to think of whether I want to tame you. No, you're a male. I don't want to tame you. You can die. You can be gone. Be gone for all I care. Also, show me my. Show me how much damage I'm dealing, please. Um, I don't know what clone the dialers do. I assume that they clone dinosaurs or themselves or something. Oh, interesting. I don't know why he caught fire for the record, but he caught fire and then he also did another attack just then. So I wonder if he, oh, he exploded. So I wonder if he had like a random ability. Uh, but what, what I'm really, really sad to see, unfortunately, is there was also a stone, um, there was a stone carbo on the beach that I wanted to tame up because we got to get ourselves a resource dinosaur. I guess we'll get this one instead. We'll add, you know what? Add another Listro to the squad. I know, I know. We, we've tamed up four Listrosauruses recently, but there's no problem with that. Also, why did that deal so little torpor? Wow, I guess that's maybe normal. I guess maybe we just got a little carried away with our <laughs> overpowered torpor dealings. All right, let's try something a little bit stronger. Uh, but yes, we got to get ourselves a resource dinosaur soon. And that is exactly what the wood Listro is. I guess he generates wood, I assume. I have never i don't actually know what these guys do um but once we get one of these base ones then we can at least obviously get some more recess kibble and we can eventually get ourselves some like nice metal crystal um actually a pearl i think there's a pearl one as well there's a bunch of different resource dinosaurs that we can get um and i guess we may as well start out with this guy all right have i lost the plot or are we just dealing no torpor i feel like we're dealing no torpor on this little dude where did you go mate where did you go 
Did I just loot? There he is. What are you doing? What are you doing there, buddy? All right, let's get this over and done with the mate. I should have just bowled you in the first place, shouldn't I? But that's okay. Get yourself stuck on some wood. <laughs> uh, you thought the wood was going to help you, but there you go. Now, I don't actually know if I have a resource kibble on me. I probably don't. I do, I do, I do. Hey, there it is. Hey, fantastic. There you go. Fantastic. Okay, cool. That's going to be an awesome team um, for things. Yeah, like I said, getting higher level resource dinosaurs like that. If he lays, if she lays an egg, I could literally go and tame a wood parasaur, for example. And then we can get some like higher tier. Oh, sorry. It's a beta, not just ordinary. Not just an ordinary wood uh, parasaur. But what I'm most sad about right this second is the fact that Dodo has disappeared off my beach. That's what our entire mission was for yesterday. It's what I was literally setting out to do today. Um, but I guess our dude over here just laid that egg a little bit too late speaking of which i've got myself an item collector now which is absolutely incredible and there it is our rage egg i'm gonna use it right this second let's do this thing i'm gonna get myself this beta rage kibble at least i think i am if all goes according to plan one of these please thank you very much craft it up thank you and while we're at it i think we can actually um let me have a look here I think we can actually get some other beta kibbles as well. So we may as well just get every beta kibble that we can possibly get and bring them out on our missions with us. That way we at least, I don't know, if we come across the right dinosaur, we can actually tame them up. Um, so, so far we've got re uh, uh, elemental, we've got rage, and we've got nightmare. But I'm pretty sure, definitely not unique. I don't know what this unique stuff is, but we got to try these uniques at some point. I don't think I've ever found a unique. Um... And, okay, I guess we can't get any of the other ones. Oh, hold on. There's some more down here. That's right. We had a mythical egg. I don't even know who laid the mythical egg, but now we've got ourselves a mythical kibble and a guardian. Nope. And spectral, perhaps? Spectral. Yes, we can. That's what that was, right? No, ethereal. Ethereal, ethereal. Okay, cool. Well, there we go. So we're slowly stacking ourselves up with some uh, pretty good supplies that are going to come in pretty darn handy very, very soon. Um, just not soon enough. I want to be able to, I want to go use this stuff right now. Uh, what I do need, though, I'm trying to think, who was I waiting to get an egg out of? Another egg out, oh no, this guy, one hour explosive. <laughs> it's a male though, so it's going to take like 100 years to do that. Also, for anybody asking about dinosaur names, I'm still keeping an eye on the comments. We're going to do a big old naming spree, maybe tomorrow's video. So uh, I guess get naming on all of our dinosaurs that need names. There's a few of them now. Uh, we've got a little Listro squad. I think a few of our parasaurs over here. Uh, a big old colossal Sarko needs a name. And our Tyranodons, of course. And our Pelagornis over there. Speaking of the Pelagornis, I actually never checked out his ability uh it's supposed to be reflective i don't know what that means i assume like what happens if i attack you does it damage you back that's what i was kind of oh wait whoa 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 wait what minion teleporter you know what's with all my dinosaurs summoning minions or unless that was my was that my dialo all right see i actually have oh it's him it's his minion he's a random carbo he summoned in are oh, you banana you absolute banana. All right, cool. Well, I don't know what our reflective ability does. I'm going to have to look into that. I really got to keep open the little... Um, there's a little page that comes with the mod. It's on the like mod description page, and it gives you all the details. Um, but yeah, we're going to suss that one there out. Well, I'm going to take this guy out for a spin. Our beta... Oh, look at this little guy. Look at you. Okay, yep. Now you've asked for it. Now you've asked for the... Okay, I'm going to whistle. Everyone passive. Are you mine? I actually have no idea. Oh, uh... I guess that's... Is that my... Okay, we're going to fight back. We're going to fight back. Let's go, friends. Give him a bit of an ice storm. I don't know whose minion that was. I don't know if it was mine or this guy's, but um, either ways. We got to do what we got to do. Let's take him down. He's got a lot of health. Oh, my gosh. All right, you're strong. Also, he's fro... <laughs> what? Um, okay, no, he unfroze. I don't know if you saw the timer just then, but the the, the timer was like, he's frozen for 100,000 seconds or something. Obviously, that wasn't the case in the end, but I, I want to see if that was a bug or if it happens again. Either way, the timer worked properly. Ready? Is it working? I actually have no idea what's going on. Why am I seeing something go flying? Either way, we got our little summon assault. No! Oh, wait, <laughs> What? Where did you obviously that's uh that was he came to protect the turtle but okay how random a rock a uh, sorry a stone managama oh, man I can't say that word managama manar that looks so cool like how puffy and face his face looks <laughs> I need to tame one of those 
<laughs> I don't know. I can't remember the last time I actually tamed up one of these. Like, vanilla version. It would have been a while ago. Anyways, Raptor, thank you very much for the help, buddy. Let's get you back in base. Keep laying me some eggs. Um, not that I really need many elementals right now, but I think it's about time we go and tame our very first alpha dinosaur. And I'm going to be taking out our beta dimensional pteranodon to help us out with this one. This is... Actually, can I... Can I kill this thing? Is there any level one? Oh, he despawned right as I was about to do it. So our little pteranodon right here um, is going to be a big old help moving forward. Unfortunately, it didn't seem to... Oh, it might be because it was a stone dinosaur that it didn't help out great. But for one, he's a lot quicker than our uh, zombie pteranodons. Uh, two, um, he, when we actually kill something, we're going to be able to harvest it, which is something we couldn't do with our other... Oh, no, he deals mega damage. Oh, that was pretty special. And three, you can fly underwater. So that's extra, extra, extra special. Um, also, hey, Wood Listry, how you doing there, dude? Come with me. I've completely forgot. We just... Wait, can I not pick you up? Oh, no. Wait, what do you mean I can't? Maybe it's too heavy. All right, little Wood Listry. Get your booty out of there. We'll get you back to base. Uh, but now that we've got all of these beta kibbles, I think it's time we finally go and look for an, a, a, an alpha. The very first alpha tame. We've been hanging out for this moment for quite some time. We've just never been able to actually achieve it. Well, it's time. It's time to finally achieve greatness. And then once we get an alpha, we will, of course, be able to move up to, I think... I actually don't know what's next after that. All right, you wait down there, Wood Listro. I'll let you in the base in a second. But... We've obviously got the basics. We've got the beta. We've got the alpha. Oh, wait a second. No. We can't get an alpha yet. We need to wait for a beta egg. I don't think we've got any beta eggs yet. But after that comes prime. All right, hold on, hold on. Let me just suss my squad out down here. So, so far we've got... We've only got... We've only got beta bugs. I'm pretty sure it's just beta bugs. We've got our knockback Lystrosaurus. That's just an ordinary dinosaur. We've got any... Just basic eggs. Dang. Ah, oh, for some reason, I thought we'd moved on. Okay, that's cool. We just got to get more betas then. Hey, and if all goes according to plan, there is every opportunity that we can still get ourselves an alpha. But we'll have to see what happens. Okay, so we're looking for betas instead. Let's see what we got down this way. We've got ordinary parasaur. We've got, let me get some movement speed so we can move a little bit quicker. We got ourselves a necromancer parasaur. Not quite what we're looking for. We got some more listros. Hold on, there's an egg. There's a couple eggs down here, as a matter of fact. I will happily steal some eggs. Regular elemental egg. We've got a crystal carbo egg. A resource egg. I don't have any. And a guardian egg. Okay. That's actually really good. So that's a beta zombie Lystrosaurus. I could, I could tame that. Do I have a beta? Oh, I got the boogeyman. I got our boogeyman. Regardless of that, I think I need to tame this. I think I need to get this little beta list, Joe. Uh, 100% I'm getting this guy right here. He's going to help me get uh, beta, beta, beta nightmare. Oh my gosh, I'm losing the track. There's so many basic beta, alpha, so many terminology, so many things to talk about. I'm losing track, um, but I need this thing. Yep, it's as simple as that. I also got to repair my crossbow, so we should probably do that too. Um, can you not? Can you not run away from me? Can you just make this an easy tame, please? Look, just take that one there to the face. I'll give you my little nightmare kibble, and uh, we'll be as good as gold. Fantastic. All right, what else we got around here? We got dodos. We got lots of dodos. Ordinary dodos that we do not need. I just need you to eat your kibble, and I'll take you back to base. Metal oviraptor. I do happen to have... Do I have resource kibble? Oh, I just used it, didn't we? That could be really handy. One, because it's going to give us metal, but two, because it's going to give all of our dinosaurs a, an egg laying boost. Oh my gosh, that is... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I 100% need that. I 100% need that right this second. I love this mod. Yeah, Mega Mod is so exciting because it's just... You, you don't know what you're going to go out looking for until you find it. And then you're like, yeah, I could really do with that. And then you stop and try and tame it. Um, so many... I, 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 it brings good use to so many dinosaurs that you normally just kind of like look past without even thinking about. This is... I'm going to I'm gonna say... I'm going to put it up there with one of my favorite mods, I think, at this point. Um, oh, no. What do I need? I need a resource. I need a resource kibble. We can get one of those. Fantastic. On top of that, we can also, now that we just collected those extra eggs, um, what did we just get? A guardian egg? I was hoping I could just... Here we go. We can get ourselves a beta, beta guardian kibble. Yeah, why not? Why not? And then what else can I get? 
What was the other one that we got? We, we got ourselves another egg, and I can't remember which one it was. All right, either ways, I'll grab, I'll grab you. What's this one here? Resource kibble. Yep, we just got that one there as well. Uh, it was an elemental egg, but we can also get us a beta resource kibble as well. I'm pretty sure. I need beta essence. Oh no! How have I run out of essence? I guess it was bound to happen eventually. Okay, that's cool. All right, where'd that little Ovi Raptor go? Ovi Raptors move way too... There he is, there he is. I was going to say, they move way too quickly, but this guy here, he ain't going to outrun me. No chance in that one. There he is, there he is. Now I should be able to... Oh man, I was meant to... No, 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 no. Come back. No, no, no. Oh my gosh. This is that laggy part of the... Oh wow, that dealt like no torpor. Oh, because it's made of metal. Of course it's going to deal like nothing. Um. Well, I'm going to use a prime arrow on you. It's going to probably be a big old mistake because it's a bloody expensive arrow, but... Oh, no. Don't go in there. What are you doing? Stop it. Okay. Random explosions. Um, My prime arrow didn't even get the job done. All right. Stop, 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 stop. Please. Got him. Headshot. That's what I'm talking about. And this is why we need it because he poops. Ow. Oh, explosive poop apparently. <laughs> okay. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> um, okay. Take that one there. I'm pretty sure you only need the one. All right, something is blowing up a storm down there. I think it's that Megalodon. I actually have no idea if it's the Megalodon, but this is going to be amazing. All right, Metal Oviraptor. I've been saying for so long that we need a Oviraptor. Well, now, now we've done it. And hopefully, hopefully I can pick it up and carry it back to base. Oh, don't tell me I got to run you back to base. Dang it. Okay. I'm pretty sure I can literally run you back to base though. I can, because all dinosaurs are rideable. All right, come with me, my dimensional pteranodon, and let's get this guy home. I'm starting to realize we are going to have so many teams this series. Like, so <laughs> many darn teams. It's going to get ridiculous. <laughs> but there we have it. Okay, so I'm pretty sure... I don't, I kinda, I'm actually not sure exactly how these guys work, but from what I think happens, I think they just poop. I think they literally just poop what you need. So I guess I got to give him food. I don't know. They eat eggs, don't they, though? Oh, no, no, no. He's eating meat. And then what I hope he does, I hope he poops me metal. You're going to poop me some metal? I guess I got to like chuck stimberries into him and just drain his food and then pump food into... I don't know. We're going to have to see how it happens. But uh, not only that, he also, from what I understand when it comes to... Unless... How does an oviraptor work? You meant to like set them to wander in a base. Copy settings to nearby metal oviraptor. Why would I do that though? That's interesting. I'm not sure why I would copy settings. I don't actually know what settings are customizable, but okay. All right. I'm, we'll leave you here for a little bit and see if you do any poops. See if you increase the egg rates of our friends and we'll, we'll go from there. But before we head back out, like I said, we got to repair this crossbow. This crossbow is on the verge of breaking any second now. We also need to craft us up some extra arrows because we're slowly running out of those too. Let's quickly do that. Um, and then we obviously got to craft some up as well. So sedatives, what can I actually craft? Which, um, where's my essences? Have I used them all? I think I might've used all that essence at the moment. Or I'm blind. Huh. This is all we have. We got some alpha essence. All right, fine. No, but I want to save those for eggs. Um, okay. I'm going to turn our basic essence we're going to get plenty of that. We're going to start turning that into beta, which is going to be good. And that's actually going to let us get some resource kibble. All right, we're going to get one resource kibble and then I'll turn the rest of it into sedatives, I think. I don't know. I'm trying to work this out myself right now. We're going to turn the rest of it into some sedatives because we can get plenty of those. Um, let me get like 13. Ooh, let's go in here. 13 of these. That's going to make 15 all together. And then we're going to turn those into some extra arrows. <laughs> I never thought we'd end up with five list rows. Look at them all. They're all so unique in their own ways as well. Hey, have you been getting me any eggs? Oh, wow. You've been collecting a lot of poop. Okay. Um, and now for Rage Egg. How did we get this? Hold on a second. I don't have an Alpha Rage dinosaur. I've got... Oh, wait, what? Excuse me? Um, okay, that's bizarre. I have no idea where this came from, but um, we ended up getting what we wanted <laughs> somehow, some way. Uh, okay. 
so can I turn this into an actual... I actually don't know where this came from. And I feel very bad using this. We're well, not using it so much. I feel like I've stolen somebody else's egg, though. Um, I can... We can... Wait, what, what can I do? I can get Prime. We can get... We can literally... Can I... Wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. We're missing an ingredient. Am I missing an ingredient? I'm so confused right now. Hold on a second. Rage. Oh, my gosh. We can go straight to Prime. But I'm missing cooked Prime meat, six long grass, and Prime essence... I used up all of my prime essence. Wait, I'm so what? I, I'm still trying to process how we actually ended up with this. Okay, so we're going to need to cook up some prime meat. That's fine. I can make that happen right now. Long grass, on the other hand. Actually, do I have, an, do I, do I have, some, do I have some raw prime meat? We do. Okay, grab it all. And then grab a little bit of wood as well. And then cook this stuff up. We're going to get a fabricator and some grills and stuff set up soon. Which means we're going to need a base soon as well. When I say base. We're going to need a little house inside of these walls, I suppose. Um, But, where's my veggies? Let's go check out. Nope, not you. I'll just go down by foot. We're going to go and see how our veggies are doing. Also, does that mean that there's an alpha... There must, there must be an alpha beta dinosaur somewhere nearby. Not beta. An alpha rage dinosaur. There must be. Also, are you the stone cut? Nah, 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 nah. I know I said earlier that I was looking at a stone carbo. Definitely wasn't the ultimate one. Um, okay. No fertilizer to deposit. That's fine. We got four long grass. I need six, right? So we're two long grass away from actually being able to... Oh, and we obviously need the prime. Which means we need to wait for a prime dinosaur to die. Which, uh, yeah, it's probably not going to happen. It. We're not going to be able to make it happen. But if one just randomly dies in the wild, it'll take care of itself, wouldn't it? Okay, regardless... Let's go and see if we can find some new betas that we need. Ooh, a knockback pteranodon. That would have been handy yesterday, but it is a male. Oh my gosh, imagine what you could do with the knockback pteranodon. Like, obviously, a knockback Lystrosaurus was just yeeting everything into, like, oblivion. <gasps> imagine a pteranodon. You could just swoop down and just launch everything. You can launch everything off a mountain. Oh my god, it could be so good. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Let's not get too excited about that. Um, either ways, we're not finding many betas out here. The only thing I kind of saw was a beta wood parasaur, but that doesn't really intrigue me a whole lot. A lot of stone dinosaurs, a lot of resource dinosaurs on the beach today, which is kind of bizarre. Um, but none of these guys, yeah, like I said, none of them are really catching my attention. We got an ordinary Brontosaurus, a beta starfire triceratops. Unfortunately, I do not have two beta cosmic gibble, but that would have been really, really cool. Zombie parasaur. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm not look, really looking for zombies anymore. An alpha spiritual petri rhinoceros. Um, a beta boogeyman diplodocus. Nope, not looking for that one either. What's this pteranodon? Beta phoenix pteranodon. Hold on a second. I can actually get that. I've got a mythical kibble. Oh, ho, 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 ho. beta phoenix. And you know what that means? A phoenix dinosaur can't die. When they do die, they revive themselves. Oh, I could actually get you. Oh, I could actually get this. There's also a siren patchy over there. But it's a male. If this was a female, it would be 100% given. I would, I would grab it in a second. Also, there's a Microraptor down there tormenting it. If that was a female and it could <clears throat> lay me some uh, extra, I guess, some beta mythical eggs, that would be absolutely splendid. But unfortunately, it is not. Hmm. A zombie Rex. Hmm. That would have been so good. That's right. We'll focus on one of those once we're uh, once we, uh, targeting some higher tiers. We're going to Alpha Fire Tech. Wait, I can't get that. Oh no, I need three. Oh my gosh, we're gonna end up needing so much kibble because a lot of these, a lot of these higher tiers require multiple kibble, more than just one. And uh, oh my gosh, yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be in for a wild ride once things really start progressing. Four alpha ethereal kibble. See, even with that one alpha rage kibble that we've got, we're not gonna be able to get much with it. Because look at this, six, six for a prime, two, two for a winds brontosaurus, a. Breeding Diplodocus. Hold on a second. What do you reckon a breeding dinosaur does? I'm also kind of considering killing this. I'm actually going to kill this Diplo. Um, I don't think we've got any utility uh, essence or souls or whatever they're called. Um, I need it. I need it. I need it. That way we can actually tame up a utility dinosaur when the time comes. Thank you very much for the soul um, and the essence and all of that jazz. In fact, I just realized that's what we should be doing. We should be targeting beta dinosaurs so I can get some more beta essence, if not alpha essence. Uh, we need both. We're going to need both soon. Spectral. Yeah, I don't really need you. Beta volatile stego. But it needs four kibble. Why does everything require more kibble all of a sudden? 
Beta knockback Bronzo. Oh my gosh. I can't get it because I've only got one of each kibble. I really came unprepared on this adventure, didn't I? I really did. And then we just got a volatile stego beneath it. It's unstable. It means we could get some unstable kibble out of it. Also, what's up with this little Kano here? And does he have loot? Nah, yeah, he didn't have a little backpack, unfortunately. We do have a beta earth microraptor, but it's a male. Oh, if it was a female, that would have been great. Um, actually, no, we're kind of, I think we're targeting alphas, aren't we? Beta elemental? Yeah, no, no, no. We need alphas. We need alpha, uh, an alpha elemental, not a beta. All right. Well, look, I think we definitely need to save up some more kibble before we go truly taming other stuff up. Uh, well, at least, at least progressing further through the tiers and stuff. I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to leave my kibbles in here for now. Man, we're getting so many. <laughs> There's so many different ones that you need to carry out on your adventures. Um, oh, damn. Hello. Did I know we had? Why are these stacked up separately? Beta elemental. Beta. This is the same. Oh, no, that's elemental and then back. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, sorry. I'm silly. I'm being a dingus right now. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to leave them all in here just to, just so that they don't spoil anytime soon because I feel like it's going to be a while before we're using some of those. But I think what we should definitely turn our attention to soon, or right, maybe maybe now, is things like a fabricator. We definitely need to start making some progress so we can actually get some good use out of uh, things like a grill because uh, we're clearly going to need... Wait a second. I need stone. Didn't I tame up a stone dino? No, I got a wood and a metal dinosaur. Hey, this is what I was talking about. Metal poop. There we go. Awesome. Um, and you got metal in your inventory as well. Okay, so it looks like they generate metal as well as poop metal. That's actually pretty handy. Uh, cool. So we've got infinite metal. I guess we just need to find a good way of like making the most of that one there. Well, here you go. Drop in there. Set that one there up. Are you pooping me some wood out or what? Hold on. I actually think I just saw it. There it is. I think it's the poop's kind of pooping underground. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, but yes, let's get ourselves this spark powder. So we're gonna need some some stone. Let's go and let's go and get some of that right now. I would break that rock, but um, it would then open up our base to predators, and we don't want no predators coming into our base now, do we? So I'll just go and smack up like two or three of these. Uh, but if we could get ourselves one a fabricator, then we're going to need some fuel. Pretty sure we got some oil. Pretty sure we got, well, we got plenty of hide. So that's all sorted. We can get some oil up and running. Um, then what are we going to need? We're going to need, I didn't even know what we'd get first, to be honest, but probably going to need a lot of metal. Um, especially if we're going to start breeding some of these dinosaurs up to get extra eggs, then we're definitely going to need ourselves some air conditioners and that sort of stuff as well. There's a lot we're going to need, basically, is where I'm going with this. Oh, that's right. We need the spark powder first, don't we? Only 50 of it, though. Okay. Let me grab that. Nope. I need 50. All right. We get all 50 of those. There we go. Fantastic. We crafted up way, way more than we actually needed. And let's get ourselves cementing paste. Oh, hold on a second. There we go. I was going to say, we just had to wait for it to finish crafting. But there we go. We got our fabricator. Okay. Now, fuel. I was going to say, surely we have what we need for some fuel. Uh, give me 10 of those. That way, we'll keep that going nice and long. Keep us keep, keep us nice and stocked up for a while, I suppose. Um, Cool. All right. The question is, though, where are we going to place this stuff? Because we're kind of running out of room. I think we're definitely going to need uh, a proper base setup soon. And I'm thinking that this, this pillar could be a pretty good area to build something. I wonder if... Okay, hold on a sec. I'm actually going to place some little foundations down and see what we can do. The four of you, um, just come over here for now. Just come over here. Yep, there you go. That's all I needed you to do. I think we've got some foundations ready to go as well from when we were building the walls. Four of them. Okay, um, we'll craft up some extras. I don't want to craft them by myself, though. I'm going to need a crafting bench, one of these. Okay. Also, we're probably going to have to get a lot more stone because I just realized we had to get stone for spark powder. So we're probably going to need stone just for an ordinary. Yeah, we're probably going to need more stone in a second. Let's go and see. Can I get some of these? Three. Okay, that'll do. That's enough. That's enough for me to see, like, what I can work out. What, what I can work out with this. So, what I'm thinking is... Um, let me find the center point. I guess I'll go from, like, here. I think that's... I don't know. Hold on, let me get a little bit of a bird's eye view going, eh? Okay, so... Oh, yeah, that was nowhere near straight. Um, that's pretty good. That's perfect. Okay, so I want to find the center point, like, right here... 
and then go like too wide. That's not actually going to sit that well. What I was trying to do was if I, mm, okay, no, 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 let me, let me, hold on, let me, can I pick this up? Let me pick you up and I'll pick you up as well. I'll try this again. What if I go center here? If I just go really central. I think that's pretty central. Okay. And then I guess I could do like a triangle on the side. Okay, hold on. Can I get some triangular? Do I have any triangular foundations left? I think we do. I think we do. I think we do. Hold on. Six. Okay, that's perfect. And then give me some squares. Man, we've been doing a lot of building this week across our Genesis series. And then this one here, of course, too. Ooh, now we're onto something, perhaps. Still goes a little bit wider than I was hoping for. But I think I could... I think I could work something out here. Sort of. If I were to place these a little bit deeper... Hmm. Give me a second. I'm onto something. Okay, so what I'm thinking of doing here is I want to line up the center of this square foundation with the edge on the sides on either side. I don't even know what, I don't even know why I'm trying to describe this because it's not going to make any sense. But basically, I want to go 2-2 two, two, and then kind of remember which thing on my hopper. I want that to pretty much hit right there. But then that's going to mess that up, isn't it? Hmm. And I guess we could do something like this. It's going to get a little janky. But I think I'm onto something here. Come out in that direction. And then I guess we could actually go like that. And then I could kind of rearrange the, the inside portion as well. I don't know what I'm doing here, but this is... <laughs> I'm making life really difficult for myself is what I'm doing. I think this is going to be the center point of the base though. I think this is, I think this is where we're going to build our base. And I'm going to build like a multi-level thing because I've never really done that before. And I'm going to use this metal structure as like the backdrop to the inside. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. This is going to be awesome. Oh, this is going to be, if I can, if I can make this work, if I can pull this off, this would be one of the best builds I think I've ever done. And what a, what a perfect series to pull that off on as well. For now though, let's just get this fabricator set up front and center because that's what this whole kind of, actually don't even, we can kind of, Nah, I can't really slot it into there. All right, for now, we're just going to place it front and center. We're going to place it right here. There we go. We're going to get a little bit of fuel in there. We can go turn it on. Turn it on, I said. And then we can get some electronics crafting. Let's do that. Yeah, there we go. Well, I think we've done enough for today. We've actually achieved an absolute ton. We've tamed up like 40 dinosaurs. We've got ourselves our very first bit of alpha kibble. We've got beta dinosaurs coming out of our butt. And we've got the beginnings of our, well, our base structure, which is going to be absolutely awesome. If you did enjoy the video, please go ahead, punch that thumbs up. Make it rain those thumbs ups. Remember to leave any name suggestions down below in the comments for uh, any of the dinosaurs that you want to help me name. I'm thinking either tomorrow or the day after, we're just going to do a massive ta uh, naming spree, not a taming spree. We'll probably do both. But anyways, until next time, keep on smiling. Have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you then. Bye.